Welcome everyone. My name is Steve Weber. I'm the Global MSP Sales Engineer. And today we're going to look at the SOFO Central Partner Dashboard Role-Based Administration. Role-Based Administration is going to give you the control over which accounts and what permissions you have for your SOFO Central admins. What we're going to do is take a look at how you can configure those roles, how you can do them on a mass level and how you can do them on an individual level, as well as what some of the icons mean when you see them inside of the Central Partner Dashboard. So let's go take a look and dive into the Central Partner Dashboard role-based administration. Okay, starting at the SOFO Central Partner Dashboard, what we're gonna to wanna to do is come down the left-hand side to Settings and Policies. From here, we're gonna to wanna to click on Administrators. This is going to give you a list of all the administrators who have been given permission from the Partner Portal into SOFO Central Partner Dashboard. By default, a user will be giving Partner Read Only access, meaning that they will have access to no customers and they will not have access to the SOFO Central Firewall Manager. From here, let's go ahead and take a look at my account that I'm currently logged in with. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the SOFOS Partner account. You can see that I have my Steve Weber account here, and we want to talk about the icons that you're going to see inside of here. From here, we can see this is my Steve Weber. It's my Sophos Partner uh, email address. It's a Partner Super Admin. I have access to both Central Admin as well as the SCFM, that is our Sophos Central Firewall Manager. And by default, the Partner Super Admin has access to all customers. What you're gonna notice is because I'm currently logged in as this user, there will be a lock on this account. When there is a lock on the account, when somebody is logged into that account, you will not be able to change their role. If you are trying to change a role for a particular user and you are seeing that the edit option is grayed out, you will need to have that user log off before you are able to actually go in and make a change to that user. Okay, so let's discuss how to manage the roles in SOFO Central. From here, we're gonna go ahead and start. There are two different ways in which we can actually modify a user's role. We're gonna start by taking a look at the roles themselves. Uh, you'll notice we have five different roles available to you. Again, letting you know the default role for a new user is going to be that partner read only. By default, they will have access to nothing inside of the dashboard. You can assign them to customers, but they will not have any customers in their system already. The highest role is going to be your partner super admin. This is the role that is going to have access to all of your customers. They're also going to be the role that has access to manage global templates. They can also assign roles inside of the system as well. So this is your top level account. Your partner admin account, which is your next level down, will not have access to the global templates. This account will also be limited to only the customers assigned inside of that role. Next level down is going to be your partner help desk. This is going to be a very limited administrative task. It does line up with your SOFO central help desk role. It allows them to be able to go in and take action on alerts, but not go in and make any changes to any of the policies. Your partner read only, pretty self-explanatory. They can go into any of the customers that they have been given access to, but they will not have access to make any changes to the alerts or anything else inside of the system. The partner business admin is going to be a unique role. This is going to be a role that can be assigned to a licensing admin. They don't need any access to any of the SOFO Central customers. They just need to be able to get to the SOFO Central Partner Dashboard to take a look at the licensing, deal with the PSA integration components, uh, and pull down any licensing reports needed out of the SOFO Central Partner Dashboard. Okay, let's take a look at the Partner Admin role. Once we go ahead and open up this role, you're going to see the current members that are assigned to this particular role. It'll also give you an overview of the permissions for this particular admin account. Global templates are not going to be listed here, but global templates are not available for the partner admin. And if we need to edit the permissions for this, we can simply click on edit at the top right. We're going to be presented with a list of all the current admins in the system. We can select a current admin in the system and move them over into that role. 
Once we hit save at the bottom, this is going to modify that partner admin's account. It will move them into the partner admin and by default, it is going to give them access to all of the current SOFO Central customers in your central partner dashboard. From here, we can actually go and actually take a look at that particular user individually. And this is honestly how I would recommend uh, you take action on these, unless you need to do uh, a lot of partners all at the same time. So coming into the admins tab, we're gonna go ahead and search for Charles, one we just moved over. And we are gonna see that he is now a partner admin account. He is able to manage the SOFO Central admin, does not have access to the SOFO Central firewall manager, and has access to all 133 clients in this dashboard. We'll notice that this user does not have a lock. This means that we can edit this user. So let's click into Charles's account. From here, you will notice that we have the edit button available to us. It is also gonna give us an overview of the current settings inside of here. This is where I recommend you make a change. Again, unless you have to make a change to a lot of your partner admins at one time, it is much easier to come into here and make changes on a per admin level. Go ahead and click on the edit feature. And from here, you're gonna be able to go ahead and select what role you want to assign to Charles's account. If there were particular customers inside of here that we did not want him to have access to, we can come down to the bottom on the right hand side, select those particular customers inside of here, hit the arrow over to the left to put them in the available customer, and he would now have access to 132 customers instead of the 133. If we need to give him access to the SOFO Central Firewall Manager, that can be done by going ahead and selecting that he has access to manage the SOFO Central Firewalls. Now, this does not give him permission to see all of the firewalls in SOFO Central Firewall Manager. If you're looking for more information on that, please take a look at the XG Start to Finish video, which goes over how to add your admins and how to give them access in SOFO Central Firewall Manager. From here, for Charles, since we want him to be a partner super admin in the system, I'm going to go ahead and reset his role. I'm going to select him for a partner super admin. You'll notice as soon as partner super admin is selected, uh, the customer page will go away and it'll be listed as this partner super admin will have access to all existing and future customers. So that is a good thing to point out inside of here. If we are taking a look at him from a partner admin account, any new customers that get added to the Sophos Central Partner Dashboard will appear in the available customers. You will need to come in to this dashboard for that particular admin and add that new customer into their account. So in this case, if Sophos Test was a brand new customer that was just added, we would have to come into Charles's account, select Sophos Test, and add this to his account for him to be able to access it if he is a partner admin. Again, if he is selected as a partner super admin, he will have access to all existing and all future customers. Simply hit save, and this will now modify his account. Again, if his account, he is currently logged in at that time, you will not be able to make changes to his account. Please have them log off and then you can make changes to their account. Thank you all for joining us on this very quick video into role-based administration. Uh, look forward to producing more videos in the future. And until next time, have a good day.